Hey y'all, this is Shane and we're going to check out my Motu 8 Pre. Now what we have here is an 8 input sound interface or sound card for recording audio. I've done 3 albums with this and it has been great. It's just of my own projects and I've recorded quite a few albums for other people over the years just using the Motu 8 Pre mainly for drums and guitars and so forth. It is an 8 input device as I mentioned and you can either use XLR or jack inputs. Each of the channels has its own phantom power and 20 dB roll off pad here. Now phantom power is used for studio microphones and also for some devices like DI's and so forth you can also power those. It also has its own 20 dB roll off pad here. So say you've got a really loud drummer or guitar player and you've turned your input volume as far down as it goes but you're still clipping on your view on your computer you can then click this and then you'll hardly have any signal and then you can just bring it back in to the, until you get the right amount which is great that feature there is really really handy for certain things like loud guitars an active bass can also cause problems sometimes or a heavy hitter and uh, we've all worked with at least one of those so now what I really like about this is on the front of the device we have headphones out and a volume control. Now the volume control does two things. It sets the volume for your headphones with one click and a second click will bring up the mix sort of like if you've got speakers attached to this device you can set them separately to your headphones which is a really cool feature. Now on the display here we have each of the tracks listed this way one through eight and input volume so you can then use this as quick reference to see how strong or how weak your signal is I usually like to get it up to about here it usually makes sure that um, you don't have not enough or not too much you can get away with the next one up but your borderline clipping when it hits the top which will be red so it sort of goes red yellow and green so keep it in the green that's pretty cool and also over here it will tell you if your device is the main interface or a converter now the cool thing about the converter is you can run a second unit like this with ADAT now for those who don't know what ADAT is I'm going to show you this is an ADAT connection it's also known as an optical cable and uh, these were pretty prominent on DVD players and blu-ray players for a long time well more so on the DVD players. I think a lot of Blu-rays are going to coaxial cables now, but that's another story. But anyway, yeah, so these are ADATs, also known as optical cables, and you can then daisy chain one unit into the next via these, and then you'll have another eight inputs. Now, you can only do that once, so you can't just keep adding eight by eight by eight by eight. It doesn't work like that. You can also daisy chain these via Firewire, but I never had any success with that and the only time I got it to work it was seriously unstable I went back to these and I had no problems at all so I'm going to show you the back as I mentioned before you do get 8 inputs right here now these do take XLR or straight jack connection so if you want to record a bass guitar you can actually just go straight into this with the lead that a bass player would normally have and and these preamps are great. They, I've just always had great results doing that or going via, um, say, Oscar's Tech 21 preamp and then into those, and it sounds great. You can also use XLR, obviously, as well if you want to use a DI box or whatever you choose to use. But yeah, you can plug mics straight into the back. A lot of these units will have like four and then jacks. Seriously, companies, this is the best unit of its type because it has eight mic inputs which is what you want or you want the option to be able to use jack as well but you actually this is why this model succeeds right here so all those idiots that make you know an eight input device with only three or four of these that's why they fail they suck all right over here that's your speaker out so you can go straight to your monitors we've got firewire here two connections so you can daisy chain or use one or the other we do have a MIDI interface in and out here, which I've never used. The optical connections right here are still connected. I've got my other one on my desk at the moment, but uh, yeah, I'm not using all 16, so just to save space right now, just use the one. That's basically the unit. It, there's not a whole lot of bells and whistles with it. 
but after using a lot of these over the years, the simplicity of this makes it great and the stability. The drivers are awesome on Windows too. I very rarely ever have issues with it. Occasionally it'll spaz out, but I think it was more due to my program that I was using at the time. Since using different software to record and edit in, I've had no issues with these units. They've been really, really good. What I would like to have seen is maybe a couple of separate headphone outputs on them, but it's no big deal. You can, you can get it. There's other ways around that. Yeah, it's a really cool unit, and I highly recommend these Motu Apres. And if one of these broke or died, I'd simply go get another one, because uh, they've been great. So you can really get 16 great quality Pres for a fraction of the price you could get really anything else on the market. And these are, in my opinion, even better than the Presonus or even the Line 6 UX8, which I've also owned both of those. Um, this thing rocks, so yeah, check them out if you're into home recording. It's definitely a good way to go. Cheers.